It's all about building some dam walls and then flooding those dam walls, the textured surface of that with the coloured inks, these art spectrum inks here. You're going to have to let go a little bit, stand aside and let it happen. If you think of it like wet in wet watercolour, but a whole lot more extreme, that should put you in pretty much the right mind space. Let's get brave, because you've got all that colour and, guess, all that movement too. It's always so good if I can draw well while you're watching. I've got some yarn, and all you do is wrap it around and around and around and around and around and around. And this is just muslin that I cut up earlier. So same thing. I'd like another leaf there. I'll drop that on there. Fill it up with goo. The point of filling it up is because you really want the glue to stop this fabric absorbing ink later on. So grab it, pull it and twist it to create the mid vein and then pull the edges in. Touch the bag down to start it and then you're squeezing a little bit and you're lifting that line so that you can see the texture paste falling down onto the line. Not quite like that, we'll get quite fast at this. As if I fill that up with red ink later on, because it's a red beak, it's going to look like he's bleeding to death. This is not a good look for Australiana as a general rule. Now here, there's a hole in that doily, so I'll just mimic the texture and fill it. Because, well, not only do we not want bleeding beaks, but we don't want any bullet wounds in the lorikeet itself. Okay, here we are, back with our now dried, beautiful textured piece. A really stiff house painting brush, because what you have to do is really push the gesso into the surface. Now this is dry brushing, what you're doing. You don't want to make the paint super sloppy, it doesn't have to fall down into things. You're just trying to hit the high points. We'll have a light pink down this side of the flower. A dry brush over these feathers. Most of the colour will come from your ink. Only a tiny bit of this will show through. And swiggle. Let them be in clusters so that you get that variety happening in your line. Else, fill it right up. Guess what? It's time for inking. Finally, we've done all the tedious hard stuff. It's time for inking. It's time for inking. It's time for inking. Make sure you don't do that thing where you avoid the edges. Come in. So the turquoise can come in here. I think right now is probably a good time to step back. 10 minutes of leave it alone. 10. 10. Not 10 seconds, 10 minutes. And I think the same with this one too. Tail here is looking a little bit see through in places. So, and just get a little bit more blue happening along that edge and down into the tail. We have a finished ink painting. I hope that when you do it, you have some exciting stuff went on in your painting too.